Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Mkwalisi, the son of Nube, is my name and I am here to update you on a matter that I spoke about yesterday on a different platform. But it means, it seems that many other people didn't grasp it or didn't come across it on that particular platform. So I have come here because I have continue to get these false messages sent to me by people either wanting to know the truth or insisting that they are indeed the truth. So this matter is about the date or the deadline for ZEP holders to apply for waivers and mainstream South African permits as well as the new Zimbabwe exemption permit or the Zimbabwe exemption permit extension. So this is what I want to talk about. There are a number of people that have been told that the deadline for applying for waivers, uh, the deadline for applying for anything related to the Zimbabwe exemption permit, that is the ZEP, is the 30th of June 2024. So that's what I'm going to clarify. Uh, before I go ahead, I would like, as usual, to invite you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to share it, because this is widespread. As I have said, I spoke about this in a different platform yesterday, but still, people are insisting that what they have heard is actually the truth. So, the first uh, point that has been made by those who claim that they know is that after the 30th of June, which is this month, a few days from now, Zimbabweans who are on the ZEP and have not applied for anything would have been shut out and that there is nothing that can, they can apply for. There are others who are saying that applications for waivers closed in November last year and some have already stopped applying for waivers based on that. So what I would like to tell you right now is that the stamp that you have on your passport, which is the ZEP stamp that is already on your, on your passport, has been given a number of lifelines. I think it's more than three of them by the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutualedi, extending them. The latest that he did was to extend that stamp to the 31st of December 2024, which means as we are in June, you have around six months before that stamp expires. Then the applications for waivers have no deadline for as long as by the 31st of December, this year, you would have done the application either for a waiver and be granted or, or and been granted that waiver to apply for a mainstream South African permit. That stamp remains again valid until the 31st of December, but during that period, you need to apply for a waiver, be granted the waiver. So, uh, then apply for a mainstream permit. That is the first option that you have. The second option would be for you to apply for the new ZEP, which is called the ZEP extension, which expires on the 28th of November 2025. That is next year. Or to apply after you've been granted the, uh, the waiver for a mainstream South African permit. So the waiver on its own is not a permit. It is uh, an allowance for you to be able to apply for a mainstream South African permit, be it a work visa, be it uh, a business permit, be it a study visa. So it allows you to apply for those without meeting certain, re certain requirements that are stipulated by the South African Immigration Act. Uh, so after you applied for the waiver and been granted the waiver, you can then apply for a mainstream South African permit that you believe you can qualify for based on what you applied for in your waiver. 
or what you stated in your waiver. If you don't want to apply for a waiver, you can apply for a ZEP extension, which, as I have said, expires on the 28th of November 2025. Now, the confusion about the 30th of June 2024 emanates from a court case that the Helen Sussman Foundation, uh, in collaboration with other organizations that include the Consortium for Migrants and Refugees in South Africa, that is COMSA, took the Ministry of Home Affairs to court over the cancellation of the ZEP permit. So the Helen Sussman Foundation and other uh, co-applicants took the department to court, the Department of Home Affairs and the Minister to court based on his earlier announcement that the Zimbabwe exemption permit has had been cancelled. So they took him to court and argued that there was not enough consultation with ZEP holders before the cancellation and stakeholders as well, and that the people who hold the ZEP had not been given sufficient time to prepare to leave South Africa or to transform their lives or, trans, or, 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 or transit to any other form of documentation for those who wanted to continue in South Africa. So they won that court case, and the court in its ruling then extended the ZEP from where Dr. Mutsualeti had left it to June this year. You remember that the doctor, uh, the minister had extended the ZEP or given a grace period, I think, to December last year. Then the court extended it to the 30th of June this year. But the minister then went ahead because the department failed to service applications for, waiver, for waivers and other permits before the December deadline that it had been set. Then he extended beyond what the court had given, which is the 30th of June, to the 31st of December this year, which means that that deadline that had been set by the court, which was the minimum deadline, has now been added upon by the minister by another six months. So this is where you are. There are people who are still booking appointments and they've been booked for July. So whenever somebody tells you that the Home Affairs has done this or that in as far as the ZEP is concerned, don't just listen to them. Ask for proof because the Department of Home Affairs is one of the most uh, transparent departments in South Africa in terms of communicating with permit holders, especially ZEP holders, because they have a special communication uh, criteria for those who are on the ZEP. And they clearly state that this is for ZEP holders. So if somebody tells you that there's been a new development, ask for proof from the Department of Home Affairs because either the minister holds a press conference after which he releases a statement based on the conference that was held on, on his address during that particular conference. And usually, or let me say every time, is streamed live on the department's YouTube channel, on the government's YouTube channel, and then the statement that he reads there is always posted on the Department of Home Affairs website. Whenever the minister issues another notice without addressing the public, that statement is written and is posted and uploaded on the Department of Home Affairs website under notices. So there is no way that the minister whispers to certain people and leaves others out. So this is where we are right now. Nothing has changed about the ZEP. It's still applications continuing, but what I would advise you is that make it fast and apply. Be waiting while we've already done something about the ZEP or the ZEP ex extension or the waivers or uh, mainstream permits if you've already been granted waivers. So this is where we are. Don't listen to rumors. Don't perpetuate rumors that do not have documentary proof. So there are people still applying for waivers. There are people still applying who have been granted waivers. They're still applying for mainstream payments. And there are others who are now applying for the ZEP extension. Nothing has stopped. Nothing is about to stop anytime soon. So this is what I wanted to update you about so that at least we cut you the flag and 
allow you to continue applying. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.